it is indeed. Here we are, we're back again because there's been a couple of really interesting stories that have emerged in our general discussion and I love the one in relation to what happened to the uh, to the artwork at the end of Expo 88. Um, and then we can talk a little bit about uh, the fact that you actually, like Barley Oates, kept a video uh, of the work. But just tell, tell us the story about what happened after Expo. This is a classic story. Um, well, so uh, it wasn't really clear to me what exactly would happen with the sculpture at the end of the of the show. Although I sort of I sort of assumed that I, that it was part of the show and that would be the end of it. And uh, much to my surprise, I got a call uh, one winter day that there was a container for me, and a truck brought a container to my studio and unloaded it, and I opened it up, and my entire piece, 714, was in the container, all fully assembled and uh, braced up with a whole bunch of wood. And it took me, and it took me probably at least a day just to unload it all by myself. And it would have been incredibly light, so a 40-foot container for about, what, 200 kilos of package of uh, artwork. That's right, basically a big empty box. Yeah, it's amazing. That's and, a, that's... Uh, that's a good then, story. Uh, it was ironic to me because I, because I, I hate to think how much it cost to ship all that, not to mention pack it all. And I kind of had wished that they just sent me the money and thrown the sculpture in the in the river. You're not the you're not the only one. We did a. Uh, um, a YouTube earlier uh, in the piece on a piece called the Rock, and it was meant to be it's a big piece of concrete and it was meant to be red. Uh, and anyway, they they poured it, and it was the wrong colour. It was just grey concrete. Uh, and they they asked uh, Stephen Killick um, at the end of Expo, "What do you want done with this? Uh, you know, with your artwork?" He said, "Bulldoze it into the river." <laughs> uh, so, but anyway, yeah. So coming back, so you you you're a, a student. Uh, and one of the subjects you do you're doing is uh, video recording. And you actually recorded, so you were telling me a little while ago, the making of the piece as well, which is very similar to uh, to Barley Oates, who, uh, who has just done a beautiful documentary, uh, of which I've you know um, edited down to a 12 minutes, which I'll send you the link for. So just, just give us a little bit of a feel about um, the fact that, you know, on your, your sculpture, you tested it uh, and, and that. Uh, well, I... Um I was, you know, I was going to art school at the time that I was building the piece, and I was, you know, I was taking courses in video, uh, and so um, I shot a sort of autobiographical documentary of uh, building the sculpture, the part, at least fabricating all the parts that we made in Chicago, and, and a friend of mine helped me, and uh, so I believe I have this, this, um, this little, uh, little. Uh, narrative about building the piece, and then I, I think maybe I don't know if it's concluded or not, but I also I think I have some footage of testing, wind testing the prototype for the sculpture on the roof of a five-story warehouse on the west side of Chicago in the dead of winter, with really high wind and snow blowing around, and, and uh, a very different kind of experience than uh, than you have in Brisbane. And no doubt. No doubt, especially if it's snowing that where you are now, as you you just indicated a little while ago, but, uh, you you will no doubt uh, get a cold breeze up your back in a minute. There, your delightful son opened the uh, I'm assuming the back door outside. <laughs> um, so anyway, but if you can find that, that would be fantastic. I said if you can, you, yeah, if you do a DVD of it, um, you know, DHL yeah. it over to us, and I'll clip that down, and we'll we'll include it, and it'll be become part of the public record um, in another 25 years when we celebrate it again. We won't have to go to all this effort. It'll all be done. Um, and with that, again, Evan, just thank you so much. This has really been delightful. All these things, they have a way of working out, I've discovered in the end, um, much like that delightful uh, Shakespeare play uh, that starred Geoffrey Rush. Uh, it'll be right on the day. All right. With that, we shall say uh, goodbye and thank you.